And why? Hi guys, welcome to the Savvy Money Show. With me, your host, Sean. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor, so please make sure you do your own research. research. Um, Apologise for the background noise, we are outside. Now, uh, one thing to look at when we're looking at Tesla is the competition uh, as well you have to look at the fact that GM have just released their Humvee you have to look at the brands that Neo are making but at the end of the day Tesla are the biggest and further along with all of their uh, production Neo doesn't make all their stuff in house they outsource all, everything I'm a Neo bull I've been in since three dollars I'm a Tesla bull there's no reason you can't own both nah with Tesla though that has been trading sideways and downwards so I think people are waiting to go in after earnings because they're a bit more cautious this time around with all the volatility in the market anyway after this shameless plug we will have the rest of the video and don't forget to hit that lovely like button almost as lovely as me helps with the YouTube algorithm and getting the video out to more people and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Become part of the Saving Money Show family. We give each other hints and tips and updates about stocks and shares we uh, talk about on the show. As well as that, you can ask me to look into any share you want. And I don't charge a Discord fee or ask for a Patreon. All I do ask is for you to comment in the box below and hit the like button. Uh, even if you disagree with me, especially if you disagree with me, I like a debate. And if I do something wrong, I want you to call me on it so I can improve the channel. And why not check out the links in the description below? There's lots of others. I've used each one of them myself. I wouldn't give you links if I haven't checked them out myself. Uh, if you're looking for a free trading platform which should trade your stocks and shares, you know you can get a free share worth up to £200 for signing up and depositing a small amount. A free trade only requires a £1 deposit, the others require £100 or dollars depending on which one you go for. Stake has over 3,500 US stocks on their books, which is the biggest one outside of the US. Where it's trading 212 is one of the best and easiest platforms to use. But as I said, I use all three. Anyway, on with the show. Hi, hi guys, welcome back to the Seven Money Show. I've taken off the camera for your own pleasure. And I, uh, we're talking about Tesla, my Tesla now. So, we can see that. In the last week, there's been it was a sideways movement and then some selling off. Now, why is that? We've got that is due to a few things. Firstly, traditionally, what happens is in the week moving leaning up to earnings, you have a big run up and then you have a sell off post earnings, no matter how good it is. It's more a sell the, buy the rumour, sell the news sort of thing. But, sorry about the noise. The, I 
thing is with Tesla this week, there's been a lot of volatility with the market as you've seen. We've got the election nearing, getting nearer. We have $35 trillion on the sidelines before this week waiting to go in. So more and more people are taking their money out and moving it around. You have the stimulus undecided. So people are scared and taking their money out because of that. They're not wanting it in a volatile stock in case that doesn't get agreed. Because if it doesn't get agreed before the election, then there won't be a stimulus bill until January, basically. And that means there will be a lot of companies that will go under. So, you have uh, that going on. You, you have people who think they will You have people who think that they kind of did as well as they could do this year. They've had such a run up, they're taking profits. And they're worried. And of course, you've got the guys who are trimming their position to go into the new EV stock, NEO. Now, do you guys remember when we were getting criticised for going into NEO when it was $3 a share by all these Tesla bulls? Uh, what is it, you can't afford Tesla? And now that Tes uh, NEO's 30 around the $30 mark, uh, all these guys are now looking to jump in it as the new Tesla. Oh, sorry mate, we've already made 10x that money. What are you looking to make on it? Well, because Tesla... Sorry about the noise again. Because Tesla is now such a big massive company, when you have that big mass market cap, you are no longer a company that can 10x, 50x or 100x in a year anymore. They've already done that. They've surpassed their expectations. You can't expect them to do it again. Not unless full self-driving comes out. Hang on. Don't get me wrong. I don't think there are times when they will be able to have ju jumps. Volatile company. And I think people are not uh, looking at the solar side of it. They're piling into these solar companies and I think why don't you just add the price of the solar that Tesla has to the price you want to pay for the car outside of the business or the tech side of the business but that is up to them anyway I will we will see how they'll do in earnings and then we will adapt there is another thing their battery supplier confirmed they had a million mile battery and they sold off because they never announced it. That doesn't mean they don't have it. Personally, I think they have a two million mile battery because Tesla has a history of under-promising and over-delivery. And their semis, you would need, they, for them to have all these pre-orders, they would need to be promising the companies that each time they pull up a stop to unload, the truck would be able to uh, charge up. And for that to happen, they would need to have a uh, minimum of a million miles, with ideally two million miles for them to command that price point. People wouldn't be paying it. Uh, but to go green in 10 years time otherwise they'd all be piling into Hylian and thinking I'll wait until 10 years time down the road 10 years down the road and then I'll get it when I have to but I think they've promised them a 2 million mile battery 
as long as they signed a non-disclosure act. Anyway, it's just my opinion. I'll see you in the next episode. And that's all for now. Stay safe, stay savvy, stay invested.